Welcome to Cadence Design Systems Pointwise Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. Today, we're starting a CAD cleanup series on how to assemble a model and inspect for gaps. On the screen, I have an IGIS file taken from one of our tutorials that I've modified slightly for this video. To start, the first thing I'm going to do is expand the database list to see that I have B-spline surfaces, models, and quilts. The goal of this CAD cleanup is to get down to one model, or in this instance, because they're separated, I want one model for the wing pylon and then one model for the store. Reset the view. Because I only want one model, I want to be working in models. And the first thing I'm going to do is select all these B-spline surfaces and click Assemble Models. That'll convert the surfaces to models and assemble them where possible. I've got 21 models right now, and to visualize them a little bit easier, I'm going to click Shaded and the Rainbow Colors button. Now I can see all of the separate models. One of the things that jumps out at me is that this top portion of the wing is not combined with this lower portion. Why is that? To investigate this a little bit further, I'm going to select Examine, Boundary Proximity. Assemble tolerance would be useful if I was looking at an assembled model. In this instance, boundary proximity is going to be a better metric. If I look around this seam, where these two should be joining, I see that they are separated by a distance of 5e e to the negative fifth. Okay. If I look at the tail end, actually, all around should be about 5e e to the negative fifth because that's what I translated it to make this video and show off this ability. To handle this, I can select both of these and go to Create, Assemble, Models. And I see that the edge tolerance is 1e e to the negative fifth. That's less than 5e e to the negative fifth. And that's why the models didn't assemble. If I uncheck Use Default and change this to say 1e e to the negative fourth, I can click Assemble and they assemble into one model. Now I can select all the models, click Assemble Models again. I'm down to seven. That's a really good start. To get down to one model for the wing and pylon and one model for the store from here would involve some trimming operations, but we're not covering that this week. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, drop us a line below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all. Have a pleasant Tuesday.